Hi, I'm Dr. Dylan Leuten. I'm a Regional uh, Medical Director for Cascade Training. And uh, we're going to go over the chest exam on the mannequin real quick. So um, obviously you're going to do a general inspection looking for visible signs of trauma and looking for the symmetry of uh, chest rise and fall. Uh, you're going to gently, I'm going to feel the chest for any instability or crepitance. I'm going to observe for a flail segment, which is going to be paradoxical movement of the chest wall. So as they breathe in and the rest of the chest is expanding, the flail segment will be coming in because it's unstable. I'm going to palpate for crepitance, which is something we often forget to do. It's literally just like running your fingers, usually over the top and over the side of the chest wall, feeling for that eerie snap, crackle, pop sensation when there's subcutaneous air, which is a very um, strong indicator of a pneumothorax. Uh, then, of course, I'm going to auscultate breath sounds, looking for symmetry of breath sounds. To take it to a higher level, if you have, let's say I, I'm auscultating and I hear decreased breath sounds on the left, then what I'm going to do, that knowing that that could be either air from a pneumothorax or it could be blood from a hemothorax, is I'm actually going to percuss the chest. So I'll go ahead and percuss both sides. Now if it's air in there, it's going to sound resonant or hollow sounding, whereas if it's blood, it's going to sound dull. And that's a little higher level thing and it gives you a little bit of an indication of uh, what you might be looking at. And that in a nutshell is the chest exam.